The professional difficulty in the Resident Evil 4 remake has been the source of a lot of discussion and frustration in the Resident Evil community and rightly so. In my opinion, this version of the professional difficulty is not hard, it is on par with hardcore. But if you do want to go for the S plus rank, this is where things get a little bit complicated and a little bit, actually a lot of bit spicy because the game is going to throw at you a lot of things which are inconsistent and at times unbalanced. And until now, it was a very dreadful experience, a very miserable experience. And the reason why I say until now is because today, I mean not today, but not so long ago, our good friends at Capcom blessed us with some new content, the mercenaries, and I'll be having fun with the, with that by the way, and I, I'm going to make a video about my whole experience or just stream it. So our good friend pressed us with some <laughs> with a gift. Multiple gifts. You can now buy exclusive tickets directly from the store, and you can then use them in your playthroughs whenever you decide to do so. Now here's the thing, this is not new, this is not a new practice from this studio from Capcom. If you've been playing games that release such as the Vimy Cry, or even I think it was you also, you, you could buy, you know, those things, those unlockables in the store in Resident Evil Village. So this is not new, but I have a stance when it comes to microtransactions. I don't think they belong in gaming, especially not in a paid game. This is my stance. I don't like them. However, however, the way the way Capcom does it is very special because. This is not a multiplayer game, right? If you go, if you do decide to buy those tickets, you're not going to get some some advantage over some random player you don't know. No, you're going to have an advantage in the game. And if you want to go for the tickets, it's because you're struggling in the first place. So this is for you. It's, this is just to make your runs easier. And it does make your runs easier because <laughs> you can use this ticket multiple times. Not multiple times per playthrough. I mean, depends. Maybe you want to buy multiple tickets. <laughs> I mean, do you? But if you just want to buy one ticket, I actually, actually bought just one to try it just to see how it works. And here's the thing. If you have multiple playthroughs, multiple runs, you're going to have that one ticket for all those runs every time you, you know, to just load that file. So let's say, for example, that you have one save file on hardcore and one save file on professional. If you use a ticket in professional, then it's used. But if you load your save file on hardcore, then you have the ticket unused. See, it's a it's kind of a unique um, ticket that you can use multiple times. And I also, I also believe that if you complete your playthrough, your run on hardcore and then restart a new game plus, I think you might preserve the ticket and use it again. <laughs> so I think this is, honestly, I think this is kind of nice. And people did ask me because I've made multiple videos complaining. Yeah, I was whining. I was being salty. I reckon I was being salty about the professional difficulty and people seem to misunderstand what I'm trying to say. This difficulty is fair. I mean, it, it is okay as long as you're not going for S plus whenever you have to I'll say think twice before saving or just mind which enemy you want to fight and which you want to, I mean, those rooms you want to just avoid uh, getting hit in and you just have to keep running because, you know, you're on a timer. Yeah, this is why this, this difficulty actually becomes quite uh, hard to handle, but not the difficulty itself, you know, and this is going to make the other so much easier because you know that there's only one weapon. There's only one weapon. The Chicago Sweeper, which is going to benefit from having, you know, this ticket. And it's going to make your life so much easier. And I don't think, I don't think people on assisted or standard should go for it, you know, because you don't have to. Even on hardcore, you don't have to, because even you, even if you die, you can learn upon it and you're going to be brought back to the next checkpoint, to the last checkpoint. You don't have that luxury in professional, because if you die, you die and you go all the way back to the lab safe foul. This is where this, this ticket is specifically targeted at people struggling on professional and the Chicago sweeper I gotta say I never used it until now people ask me well if you're struggling that much in the professional difficulty why not just use the Chicago sweeper my answer is simple it is not fun it was even playing now you know I <laughs> I can see why I, I did not want to do it it is not fun it is simply not fun and I know that I may have discouraged some people when it comes to playing this game, 
altogether or even playing attempting to play on the professional difficulty and if that's the case i sincerely apologize that was not my intent i just wanted to share some bullshit regarding this difficulty and i thought we could all laugh together or relate you know together to a similar experience because i know people may be having the same experience the same stun locking enemies having aimbot or pre-throwing or pre-grabbing or instant grabbing you know I know, I knew people would relate to that. That's why I shared it. It's not because I wanted to, I wanted people to think, oh, I don't want to try it. Because I truly think, listen, I truly think you should give this difficulty a try. You should try if you want to, if you really love this game, because I love this game. I've been having six playthroughs and potentially even a seventh. I don't know, maybe. I love this game and I wanted to try my luck at what they call survival horror, right? And in a very twisted way, even with all those deaths and all those bullshit and the game treating me like a bitch, I kept coming back for more. I knew I could beat it the casual way, you know, no skips and minding my inventory and trying to get some treasures. And I was able to beat this difficulty twice and the second time my time was better. My time was better so I kept improving and I think, that's the thing, I think you can beat this difficulty but it's going to require a lot of luck, a lot of knowledge when it comes to where to find treasures and a lot of accuracy you know sometimes you will need to land your shots i gotta be honest and i'm terrible at aiming you know you can call it skill issue yeah sure but i also play on controller so yeah go figure but hey long story short what i'm trying to say is you don't need the chicago sweeper and it was very unfun it was very unfun to use it with you don't even have to reload so basically you just press one button for the entirety of your run i mean not the entirety you, just, you still need to make it to the first merchant so you don't even have to go and collect all those you know to, to complete all those merchant requests no and again for me personally that is not fun and i like the fact that you have the option to you know the drop in the game when it comes to money and resources is going to be the same but if you don't want to i know people don't have the time to grind don't have the time you know you have life you have kids you have a job you don't have the time to grind for a difficulty you just want to beat it and you just want to feel good, right? I beat the professional, the professional difficulty, it's fine, right? I feel like it's fine because people who don't want it won't buy it and people who want to use it will buy it. I don't think it hurts anyone. I just want you to know that going for the S plus rank in the professional difficulty in this game is quite fun and it is doable. It is not something you should, you, you can never attain. No, you can do it. But now if you, if you want a shortcut, you know, you, you also have it. This is not a video about whether or not microtransactions are good or bad for gaming. I already told you what I think about them. I don't like them. Even though some games do it well, right? Fortnite does it well. Call of Duty does not do it well. <laughs> FIFA is the worst, probably. <laughs> so tell me about it. Tell me about what you think about the tickets being added in the game two weeks after launch. And I think <laughs> there's a big chance, actually, it's they're definitely going to add cat ears and all those unlockables in a month or two weeks. So, <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. And in for the time being, well, I guess this game is pay to win now, and that's okay. That's okay. <laughs>